This is the evolution of the Iguanodon. The Iguanodon, as you can see here, is the second non-avian dinosaur to be described. The first being Megalosaurus. In the 1830s, it's literally a gigantic iguana. With, of course, a nose horn. Man, paleontology was crazy back then. Then as we move on to the 1850s iguana, We'll see much more smoothness in the iguana skin. However, as you can see here, the iguanodon is still a quadruped, similar to the megalosaurus. Then we move on to the 1920s iguana, which is much more recognizable. It has those thumb spikes, however, it's still walking upright, and it's a tail dragger. The skull and everything else is much more recognizable though. In the 1990s to 2000s, the iguana is much more recognizable to today. With those thumb spikes, a proportionally longer neck than hadrosaurs, and a bulky body. However, it's still shrink-wrapped, which is no longer the case in the modern day. The iguanodon is absolutely gigantic in reality, with the largest ones reaching 11 meters long and weighing over 5 tons. With great amounts of bulk, the iguanodon can take on basically any predator that it has to fight back. So what do you guys think about the evolution of the iguanodon? Let me know in the comments down below.